What's up you guys, Brandon here, and today I'm going to be doing a haul video, my first ever haul video, and there's a hair here, what up, look at that long hair, see it, see it, see it, not mine, so um, I wanted to start with showing off some of this cool furniture I got, got this at a store called Deals, it's for some ACBA setups if you guys haven't seen it already in some of my, you know, in some of my videos already, so I just wanted to show some stuff off, because I wanted to brag about all the stuff that you guys helped me get, because you guys give me money and I do stuff with it yeah so um I picked up a few few things a couple of these each thing ran me about a dollar so eh, pretty per one two three four five six seven dollars after taxes yeah it was pretty, pretty pretty cool I didn't buy it all in one shot much worth it except for this table a little rocky but yeah. so yeah so there was that let me get all this stuff out show you the rest of the stuff I got so then I got this Booyah! Hyperion, which is awesome. He's really one of my my new favorite figures from the new line. Came with these two hands. Monkey hands with guns. Pew, pew, pew. Because who doesn't love guns, right? So yeah, so this figure is awesome. I'm going to do a review on him. I have the box sitting here too. Yeah, look at that box. So yeah, so I'm going to do a review on him. And some other figures that I got this this month. Because I haven't done a review in a while. And I thought I'd get back at it. Because I know you guys like my reviews. And I've just been busy snapping pictures. But yeah, so I got this guy. Then, on eBay. I like to buy stuff on eBay. I picked up this Black Widow. For 20 bucks. 20 bucks. $5 shipping. 25 bucks. Inboxed. It was amazing. Came with all the good stuff. Yeah. I don't want to pick up the other one. I don't know. I like this one a little bit better. I like the body mold a little better. This this one I think stands out a little bit more than the other one with the interchangeable heads. But you know, if I could, I'd get the other one too. If I save some money up. So yeah, so is that. Um, I got this Kang a while ago. I never really showed it in a video, but I always want just wanted to show off my Kang. He's from the Ares wave. I didn't get the build build a figure piece of Ares, but I got this for a good price, about 20 bucks or so. Yeah, he's, he's one of those sought after figures that I always wanted because I don't have a Walmart near me. So when there's Walmart exclusives, it just becomes a bitch for, for me because there's no Walmart here. This figure is just so epic. I just love it. It's just an awesome, awesome, awesome figure. So yeah, so let's continue on. Um, these I got from Flash Thompson on Facebook. Yes, I find that hilarious that his name is Flash Thompson. But, um, he's a pretty cool dude, you know. You know, so that he was selling some stuff. And if you hear music, that is my girlfriend being obnoxious. But, um, yeah, he, he sold them to me for a pretty good price. Um, and they came in perfect condition. Um, I'll say the only thing is that right there on this figure, but no big deal. For the, the price cut that he gave, gave them to me for, you know, it was a cool deal game with all the weapons you know everything that they really needed so I threw these on my last display and there's a little scuff right there but you can barely see it but yeah these these guys you know you know I love the, the sense of community that you know that we have as Marvel Legends collectors and we'll help each other out you know and I got this beta ray bill bitch you know cuz what collector doesn't want a beta ray bill look at this thing this thing is huge this dude looks like he can fight the Hulk you know what I'm saying you know, in Planet Hulk, they fight and he gets his ass whooped. But still, you know, he looks like a, you know, with this size, he looks like a guy who could take on the Hulk, you know? And then, with getting that, which getting this freaking figure, I got the last figure I needed in my collection. Oh, I mean, one of the last pieces of the Builder figure, MODOK. So, double the thing. As, um, yeah, so I got this MODOK too. So, get out of the way. Beta Ray Bill. 
So, um, I don't know why I wanted this thing so bad. It's just like one of those builder figures that just looks so ugly but so awesome at the same time. You know, look at that face. It's like, ugh, you're so gross, dude. Look at that. You know, it's just so weird and creepy looking and he could give people the finger. You know, like that. Fuck you! I don't know. But yeah, so, um, I really, I really just always wanted this builder figure. I had pieces of him sitting around everywhere, so I just finally, you know, decided to finish him up. Bought a couple pieces off of eBay, and then traded the last piece, which I still gotta send the guy the piece. I'm just broke after all this money spending. So, um, moving on. Then, I got this huge motherfucker right here. Oh, snap. It's a juggernaut. It's a Marvel Select juggernaut. At that. And I got the Marvel Select Red Hulk, if you guys don't know. Because I don't really take pictures with it, but it was a while ago, so I'm not going to put it in this hole. But it, I have it. But yeah, this dude is huge, and I put this one in my X-Men display, because if you guys don't know, the Juggernaut was an X-Men at some point. But um, this guy is fan-freaking-tastic, man. I got him for a great price, because usually people, like on eBay and stuff, pay up the ass for this thing. Meaning really expensive. But yeah, so I got this thing for like less than 30 bucks, which was awesome. And it is huge. I think I paid 25 for this because I typically pay 25 for most of my figures. Um, unless it's New Legends because that New Legends come out pretty cheap depending on where you get them. So um, this thing is really heavy. And that's the only reason why I paid so much for it probably. Because to ship this thing was a lot. But, um, you know, a typical... I think typical new selects will run you about 25 but older ones will cost you about 22 23 after taxes. But this thing was well worth it because of the size, the weight. This thing fell on my toe and it's bruised now just because of how heavy this thing is. And he broke one of my nails. As weird as that sounds, I can't find it because I clipped him. But yeah, so this thing is huge and I love it. And I'm going to do a review on this one too, so expect that coming up. Oh god, it's so heavy. The next thing I got was da -da -da -da, the bleeding edge iron man oh my god this thing is amazing i can't put this figure down this is one of those figures that uh you just gotta get a hold of and you just gotta play with it because this thing is awesome like there's so many things that i love about it like the ankle the only thing i don't like about it is the lack of a a calf swivel or yeah you know calf swivel but it's it's still like you know a, a one of Hasbro's definitely one of Hasbro's best Iron Man figures to date, competing with uh, the movie Iron Man. But this one is really really awesome, and especially with all the news of Iron Man three and the new trailer hitting. You know I just I just can't put this figure down. And then um, with that I also got this figure right here. Good douche! Oh the Iron Patriot. And I'll be picking up the third figure soon. Hopefully by Friday or Saturday or something. Um, so yeah, so there's the Builder figure. Which is looking pretty awesome. I hear a lot of people bitching about how small it is. Comparing to what Hasbro said it was going to be. But what I figure, what they did it was this. They got the extremists. They kind of angled them right. And then they just did this. Because this is literally how he's posed. Like he's looking like this. So... See that? You can clearly see that. That's how they make him look a lot bigger than what he is. But yeah, so I am very impressed with both of these figures, the Bleeding Edge and the Iron Patriot. I just wish that they would would have used a different mold for the Iron Patriot. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, I just caught an itch in my throat. If you look at the picture of the Iron Patriot on the back of the box, he looks nothing like the <coughs> the um the figure. You see? Well, he does look something like the figure. It just like, like you know, the head scope looks the same. But when it comes down to the shoulder pads or the knees, it doesn't really match up because this is more of the um, the extremist suit, where this is more um, like the movie style kind of look. If you even look at the shoulder pads, they look very movie like. Where these look very extremist, extremist, whatever you call it. But yeah, I can't really complain. I picked this one up at um, a Target. And I picked this one up at a Kmart. I wasn't even trying to pick this guy up or looking for him. I just, like, walked into a, you know, the Kmart. And I was like, holy shit, they got figures. And they had a bunch of these. They had a bunch of Bleeding Edge. I actually scooped up the last one at my local Target 
for fourteen ninety nine, bitches. Hate on me. So yeah, so um, both of these figures are really awesome, and I like the fact that you could um, change the hands with the um, the other Iron Man with the maybe the actual extremist suit. So um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So um, leave a comment down below. Let me see your hauls. Let me know what you got this this month. Um, I'm gonna come back with more reviews soon so stay tuned to that um so i'll catch you guys later with probably another haul or a review coming up soon catch you guys later peace